The buildup of coke in furnace tubes reduces operational efficiencies and, if not thoroughly cleaned, can lead to blockages and even tube ruptures. Conventional steam air decoking is costly, time-consuming and often leads to erosion of tubes, shorter run lengths and higher cleaning frequencies. To overcome these issues, CR3 introduced mechanical decoking as it's safe, efficient and much more effective than steam air decoking and removes the most resilient deposits without damaging the tubes. For over 20 years, our proprietary technology has proven highly effective without the need for high temperatures, high pressures or toxic chemicals. Instead, it utilises pigs with metal studs that are pumped through the tubes, scraping the coke from the tube walls. Water drives the pigs and flushes the deposits into a collection tank. The water is then recycled, reducing water consumption and wastewater. This pumping process is repeated several times, with incrementally larger diameter pigs, to ensure all tubes are clean to the required standard. To guarantee consistent and high quality results, we design and manufacture our own pumping units and pigs to our exacting specifications, and have the largest and most diverse fleets of decoking equipment in Asia. Our strategic partners support us with intelligent pigging inspections for determining the remaining life of tubes and optimising the performance of your furnaces. Together, we provide header delivery systems to mechanically clean the previously unpiggable U-shaped and arbor coils without cutting tubes. We normally provide these services to clients through long-term contracts, securing a significant number to date and have extensive decoking experience across all furnace types. For shorter downtime, longer run lengths and improved furnace efficiency, call on CR3 to clean your furnace tubes thoroughly, quickly and safely with our decoking technology and through our network of technical partners, provide whatever independent inspection and operational assessments you may require.